hey, hey, it is Friday. This is Dow Welsh welcoming you to Make Your Own Headlines, sponsored by Pizza Planet and the letter I. Okay, so how long are you willing to wait in line for food? For most of my life, I have said I'd be willing to wait about 97 seconds. And that's not because I'm impatient. Several people have told me recently that I'm too patient. But I don't like waiting for food. I'm just ready to eat. The concept of standing outside somewhere with a pager that lights up telling me that after waiting 20 minutes for a table, I can now go wait another 30 minutes inside to order and wait for my food to come and then be nicely hurried through my meal to make room for other people outside with pagers. It's not a bad scene, it's just not my scene. A few years ago, I waited in line for an hour and a half at Neptune Oyster in Boston for the best meal I've ever had. And I have to confess, now my food waiting protocols have changed. But I don't know if I would wait four hours for fried chicken. Some folks in Plano, Texas did though. A few weeks ago, the Jollibee fast food restaurant had its grand opening. Jollibee is a chain based out of the Philippines. It opened its first location in the United States 22 years ago. Jollibee is famous for its fried chicken known as Chicken Joy and also for their Jolly Spaghetti, Yum Burgers, and Peach Mango Pies. Nothing else, their food sounds happy. On opening day at the Plano store, people lined up at 4 a.m. and the place didn't open until 8 a.m. The crowds have been so big that a sign was posted on the drive through saying that customers were limited to no more than 20 pieces of Chicken Joy and a maximum of 10 peach mango pies. And I got a buddy that would eat all of that all by himself just for lunch. I've seen him put away 20 duck wings, a burger, and a huge plate of gargonzola potato chips like they were all an Oscar Mayer Lunchable. Psalmist was writing about the power and the care of God and described God this way, Great is the Lord and abundant and limitless in power. His understanding is unlimited, inexhaustible, boundless, and infinite. Listen, you might be a super mom or an excellent teacher or a great cook or a scratch golfer, but you are not infinite in greatness and knowledge and power. But God is. He is infinite and unlimited in all things. In fact, his whole existence knows no boundaries. In human wisdom and kindness, Jollibee may limit you to 20 chicken joys. But because of his infinite wisdom and kindness, the joy of God has no limits. In sweet care for the people 73 cars behind you in the drive-thru, Jollibee may limit you to 10 peach mango pies. But because of his infinite care, the truth of God sweeter than honey has no limits. What does all that mean for your life today? Well, it just means that no one you know and no one you meet has the unlimited grace and mercy and love and help that you need the most. That doesn't mean don't turn to people. It just means turn to God first and most. Because in being infinite in all things, that means there is nothing in your life today that's too small for Him to notice. His greatness for your heart and your mind and your soul is unlimited. Make that one of your headlines today.